Hi, this is Gleb Bakhmutov and I want to show you how to write realistic Svelte component test using Cypress. So we've written an initial test that just mounts a component without any props and a source that it renders text. We have a couple more comp uh, uh, Svelte components right here. For example, we have a to-do in the to-do list, right? It's more complicated component that receives a property to-do and then renders stuff and then even calls uh, uh, external methods by dispatching events. There is an existing test, right, using testing library Svelte. How do we do the same using Cypress so we can see things better? So right now I have a single file, so why don't I start item size spec.js and I will copy the rest of the code. So right now the only thing I need is really mount from Cypress Svelte unit test. And I'm importing the component itself. I can concentrate on just this test. Right now it will fail if I try to run it. So let me have it on the side because render is not defined. Let me, uh, let me hide the files. Okay. So I don't have a render, I have mount and I can say props and pass to do as a property and now it renders and we'll look at the styles later but right now we can see that our component has passed uh, we have to have the text so it contains to do text uh, what do we have here oh it's, it's not text it's name I kind of like this approach because I can see the component, I can pop the dev tools, I can inspect the element, I have Cypress error reporting working for me, right? so I can understand what's going on as I'm writing the test. So we have the first test, then we can move to and write the second one, contains, should mark to do as completed, we will do the same thing, we're gonna mount our to-do with a property right? and then it says should have class completed because in this case we pass completed to-do we can see the checkbox so we can say sci get um, what's this to-do item right let me see if I can select this better probably not this I just don't remember where is the test ID. Okay, so this is the test ID. Okay, so we can say attribute test ID is to do item should have class completed. Right, this is very common case where we are rendering the component with different properties and the sort that the rendering is different. And we're gonna skip the test with dispatched events and we'll leave it for now video. So this is how you pass properties in Cypress Felt unit test.